Ha <laughs> I, I want to give all my Australian fans a big kiss down under. Um, I feel like I cancel cancel culture itself. I shot through the heart of the beast. But the, you, you're being contacted, or not, not contacted, but mentioned by three presidents. President yeah. Bush. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's extraordinary. President Bush, Obama really, is even from the, the sidelines. And then President Trump. I, w I sang with Tony Bennett at the uh, Hollywood Bowl for four United States presidents after the, I butchered the Star Spangled Banner. The country was <laughs> Can you believe that? I, I still can't believe that I did that. And it, it was amazing. Why did you do that? What was... Because there was stuff behind it. You said you were trying to celebrate or you wanted to talk about freedom and not the symbols of freedom. Yeah, Please. I mean, you know, I started too high as the shortcut. Shortcut, of, I'm not a singer. And I can sing it pretty good. But, uh, you know, I, I didn't understand key very well. And the night before I had been on Johnny Carson's show and I told him I was gonna do it, you know, and he said, well, be very careful of the key. So don't start too high, whatever you do. I go, thank you, Mr. Carson. So of course I go out there. They don't give me any pitch or any note, and, you know. So I start way too high and about five notes into it, I'm like, oh Christ, I'm never gonna make that note. and you were Jewish or you just didn't fit in for other reasons? Oh, yeah, I hate here. everybody. I hate <laughs> them all. Don't trust them as far as I can throw them. I know that... Someone just asked, would you be bringing your comedy special to Australia? Like, would you tour Australia with it? Well, you know, I, I would love to, but they got... You got to get the jab to go anywhere. I'm not getting the fucking jab. Fuck that. You've never been to Australia? Be no, I always wanted to go. Well, first of all, it's like 24 hours or something by plane, which, Jesus, I'd have to, I don't know if I could take that. I'd know they'd put me next to some fucking crying kid with green snot in his nose. And, you know, that always happens to me on a plane. The parents are always behind me with two kids on their laps screaming with snot. And then they got another kid that, you know, they buy a seat for next to me every time. So I know I'm going to get sick and I have to babysit some little shit when I'm trying to get away from fucking kids, you know. They do. They're like, hey, we're giving you 15 jabs and 10 boosters right in your fucking eyeball. They want to get rid of the people who do all their fucking work for them. That's how stupid they are. Yeah. It's like, not like they're going to clean their own fucking house or raise their own goddamn brats. You know what I mean? It's not like they're going to do any fucking work. And I can't be mean to them, so I'm like, you know, I'm like, hey, don't do that. Okay? But uh, so I end up having to sit with them for hours. I know I'd probably get stuck with two brats running with noses going on to Australia. I said, why does it fall to me to have I think, to I it? think some of the play would be more scared of your mouth than they would be of I have that in my act. Hey, ladies, you're such shit mothers anymore. You're all on your phone all day ignoring your kids at the supermarket. Why is it falling to me to have to be the one to go over and smack your kids for you? Like it's like God, you know. Uh, he'll come in there in my head, you know, and he'll go, hey, Roseanne, I want you to do something. I'm like, can't you get somebody else? Ha <laughs> ha.